cause of poor vision can be something called an epiretinal membrane or macular pucker. This is not what we call age-related macular degeneration, which is a completely different disease. But what happens in epiretinal membranes or macular puckers is that a thin membrane grows on the top of the retina, on its inner surface. Here you can see the right eye of the patient with such an epiretinal membrane and the left eye, which is normal. What we do then is something we call an OCT, or optical coherence tomography, which is an optical ways of actually getting cuts, transversal cuts, through the retina. And you can see that there is a thin membrane here on the retina causing traction and causing significant thickening of the retina. Here we control the other eye of the patient, which is normal. The treatment for epiretinal membranes is to perform a vitrectomy. In a vitrectomy we make three small openings to the eye. I remove the vitreous gel from inside the eye. I stain the membrane and then pull it off, peel it off with forceps. Here you can see the eye before surgery and then a few weeks after surgery the membrane is gone and accordingly the retina is becoming more normal again. So it is a lot thinner and its architecture is more preserved and more what we would expect in a normal retina. Not in all cases do we achieve such a good result. But at least in most cases we can stabilize a retina and we can reduce what is called metamorphopsia that the patient sees straight lines as wiggly lines and after surgery that is usually a lot better. There is another disease called macular hole which is a small hole in the center of the retina. The surgery is the same and again here we also peel off the most inner layer of the retina to maybe even close the hole or at least uh, to reduce the complaints of the patients.